So we have this problem where we're told that we're supposed to be able to go to school and get an education and then find a good paying job. But what happens is we go to school and we are saddled with debt coming out of it. There's about one trillion dollars in student loan debt that students are experiencing right now. And Citibank is directly responsible for that. So what I want to ask is, do you think that we have a right to be here? Yes. 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 Do you think that Citibank's practices of adding interest again and again and again to student loans is despicable? Yes. 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 What I do want to also ask is, do you think that it is the Citibank heads at the top that are part of the problem and not the people who are necessarily staff members here? Yes. yes. So what I want to do is encourage the people who are staff members here to support this struggle. These are people in your community, these are students, your children, your friends, your family members who are here. And what we're trying to do is say, we want a different kind of society where education is provided. That we don't have a yoke around our neck because we want to get an education. How many of you are feeling that? Citibank in the lovely West Village of New York City. So I encourage y'all, uh, maybe what we can do is get some different impressions of what you would like to see in uh, getting an education that's fully funded, or uh, a different way that we use money in society. I want to encourage folks to use this as basically a speaking place for uh, having a different way of, of viewing our participation together. So uh, does anyone want to start out? Anyone have a specific bank loan experience? Or does anyone want to share how it's difficult for you to get an education right now? Please get us started out. All right, hi, I owe Citibank probably about $100,000 before interest. Um, I am $120,000 in debt. I'm 21 years old. As of June, my monthly payments will be $1,600, which I personally, as a 21-year-old, will be responsible for. Okay, my parents agreed to let me take out these loans because as far as they were concerned, I should have the best education possible, but none of us could have realized the gravity of the situation, and by the time you realize it, it's too late. In fact, my parents had to take out, I had to take out a new life insurance plan because my debt was so high that if I were to die, it would default on my parents, and they wouldn't be able to handle it. So, I mean, just to give you a sense, a sense of the, the gravity of it. I just graduated this past May. I have I just graduated this past May and I keep going Amanda. And I find it disgusting that I say I only have $30,000 in debt before interest. Only $30,000. That's disgusting because that, because $30,000 is pocket change out of CEOs like daily, or I don't even want to know what their incomes I, are. I, I can ask you, you could do this outside but not inside the branch. Anyway, we're also here for a reason because we recognize that people who are working here right now are part of the working class. They are part of the 99%. We aren't here against you. We are here to recognize that we are here in solidarity with you and that this is not acceptable because your tax dollars went to your CEO's bonuses. And I, I, think, I think you deserve that money. So I don't mean to disrespect you, but this is a day of action and we would like you to be a part of it. who would like to share some thoughts about why you're here.